the theme of this, uh, or at least the way I convince Richard and Fabrice to come, is to talk maybe about this concept of new renaissance. And uh, when I met them, I, I, I'm working currently on a study for the European Commission on the impact of culture and creativity, and I met Richard back in July last year, and Fabrice in, in December. And uh, curiously, having different background, uh, they talked about a, a similar concept with a different word. Uh, Richard talked about polymath, and he, he, he mentioned polymath as maybe this new kind of people that would be able, by talking about specifically technology, be able to master technology with art. Uh, you know, the new Leonardo da Vinci. And uh, same way, uh, you know, in a different conversation, Fabrice mentioned uh, uh, the idea of uh, uh, being, as an artist, an interloper. There is something else at the same time that I studied mathematics and uh, I, uh, I look at art, contemporary art at the same time, and I saw a, a, a field of freedom in, uh, in art that I did not have in mathematics. And I decided, the same, the same week probably, to be an artist. <laughs> I was told I was an artist. Everybody said Richard's going to be an artist. And a very strange thing happened because in England, in the northeast of England in the 1950s, no one knew what a designer was. There wasn't such a word really circulating. So the reason they said Richard's going to be an artist is that Richard could draw. And Richard could draw really well. Uh, this is where the futurism came in. It was a re sudden massive realization that the future isn't something that happens to you, it's something that you do. And when I became what I then called a designer, or pe other people called a designer, I suddenly realized with blinding clarity about 20 years ago that it was all a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because if you're a product designer that designs aeroplanes, you have to know what it's going to be in eight years from now. And if you're a train designer, you have to know what it's going to be in five years from now. I know what the cameras of 2015 look like. I know what the aircraft of 2019 look like because I'm doing them now. So this is a very strange thing when you're a product designer. Which, by the way, it's not what I am, it's what I do at the moment. I know what characteristics I bring to what I do, but I do not have a definition other than at the last cocktail party I was at when someone said, what do you do? And I said, well, at present I'm a corporate electrician. I, I rewire businesses so they can be more effective creatively. Sorry, long answer to a short question. Before, before, I wish I, yes, but there is something in the world of artists that there, there is no definition. That's why, why I realized that after some years that uh, there is always a possibility to make a new definition for this word because we don't, we don't know what, who is he, we don't know where is he, and he, we want to know every time, and we want to, we want to make a definition of the, this word every time. When I did, after I did some mathematics, I, I go to art school in Nantes, and there, it was a school where it's a new new way to, to teach, and it was a school where uh, you can use uh, teachers like you want. You don't have teachers to, to hear what they want. And it was a possibility to, to build our uh, thoughts, our way of thinking, and it was a new way. I fought my colleges with my fists um, because they believed that they were teaching. And the way the brain works is entirely non-linear. We're non-linear, it's chaotic. And as I began to learn more about, because this is another area of fascination of mine, of anatomy and psychology and physiology, was that the way the brain functions is rather like when you go out in the autumn and you scoop up a huge, well, maybe you don't do this anymore, I do it every year, scoop up leaves and throw them in the air. If you could take a flash photograph of all the leaves in the air, it's a bit like what the brain does, is that you put it all up in the air at once. All of those factors 